Good Thursday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. The Abingdon, Virginia Police Department is continuing to investigate the death of a two-year-old child. Madison Sneed was found Tuesday unresponsive on a couch in the living room of a mobile home on Norfolk Street. Thorny said it appeared the little girl had been dead for two to three hours. Thorny said the child had bruises and scratches on her body. The victim's mother, Sarah Sneed, and her boyfriend, Silas McCracken III, are charged with child abuse and neglect but could face additional charges. Preliminary autopsy yesterday revealed the child had several injuries, both new and old, which indicated that she was an alleged victim of child abuse. Sneed and McCracken are being held in the Southwest Virginia Regional Jail in Abingdon without bond. Kingsport police investigating an incident in which a city woman claims that she was abducted in the parking lot of a city grocery store. Corey Saylor said she was waiting at a bus stop near West Sullivan Street when a man, who appeared to be in his 60s, pointed a black gun at her and forced her into a light brown or tan Toyota Tacoma truck. The victim said he eventually released her after she started kicking him. Bristol, Tennessee Manufacturing Company is celebrating a $7 million expansion project. The Seaman Corporation on Industrial Park Drive recently installed a state-of-the-art coating line for primer applications, along with additional mixing equipment, weaving, and knitting machinery. The new equipment will allow the company to add up to 20 jobs over the next three years. Mayor David Shoemaker told 11 Connects this is great news. Seaman is one of those companies that, that kind of quietly goes about their business, keeps growing, keeps expanding, keeps making financial commitment to, to Bristol and the community here. Ten new employees just in the last year and planning to grow the, the plant more. It, it's a wonderful day for Bristol. We love these opportunities. The company also operates a plant in Ohio. Former police chief of Bluff City has decided not to appeal his firing. A public hearing on David Nelson's termination had been scheduled for this week, but instead he called it off. Mountain States Health Alliance officials celebrated the opening of a new parking garage. According to spokesman Ed Herbert, the parking garage project marks the first major step in a series of planned construction projects. Now, the completion of the parking garage is also a critical first step as we make room for the new surgery tower scheduled to be complete on the south side of John C. Meckle Center in 2013. The 277,000 square foot garage on the JCMD campus houses 867 parking spaces designed for use by Mountain State's team members. The East Tennessee State University campus could soon be changing to allow for a $23 million parking and tennis court project. 1,200 space parking garage is planned at the corner of John Robert Bell Drive and West State of Franklin Road where the tennis courts are currently located.